on Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> Watching people driving the cars. <laughs> Looking at their faces. Their faces speaking a lot of things just by looking at their faces. I mean, it, it shows how much in darkness they really are and so much in their individual world that they're thinking that wherever they're going to is going to fulfill, fulfill a purpose, you know, for their lives and, you know, they're going to make everything right. Well, let me tell you something about, you know, I keep on telling you the, uh, uh, the ingredients, you know, that, he, uh, uh, that um, Genesis said about the earth, you know what I'm saying? Uh, first, two, <laughs> and he said the earth was without form, void, darkness. Ingredients. You know, I mean, I, and guess what? It's like I see it on everybody's face. I see it on people's faces. I see it around me. I see the distress. I see the dissatisfaction of people's lives. I can feel their energy. They're saying, I'm, this life is terrible. Life sucks because I'm, you know, you, I'm on this earth cycle of trying to uh, get this earth to fulfill me when it said void. <laughs> no, no, it said void. It didn't say fulfillment. It said void. You know, and they're like, it's some kind of way. Somehow, it's going to fulfill me. I, I don't know what kind of way uh, a, earth, a earth thing, a, a earthling, a person, a human being, or things on this earth, some kind of way, it's going to fulfill me. Somehow. I don't know how or I don't know what, how, what kind of way, but some way this uh, earth is going to fulfill me. Just like that commercial said, and just like that other person said, and just like this, uh, whatever this earth system, world system is throwing in your face, you know, their lies, you know. And, well, you, you think is the truth because you have a sense of some kind of fulfillment because you operate according to your flesh. You think that when you engage in what they tell you that this is fulfillment, you say, oh, because it feels pleasurable, oh, it's this this the answer. Oh, because it feels good to the flesh, it will fulfill me, you know? You know, but guess what? I mean, Genesis 1, 2. A greeting is going to sit there, always be there, and it's not going to run off the page because you enjoy um, engaging in the flesh you know, Lee body. It's not going to run off the page. It says, without form, void, darkness. Yes, that's what it said. And it's not going to change because your flesh wants it to change because you want to continue, you know, engage in, and be around people that love, you know, the world. You know what I'm saying? This lifestyle is not going to change with nobody. It's going to be like what Jesus said it is written, you know, it's not, you know, hello, how you doing? It's not going to be what you said or you want to write or you want to scribble out of the Bible and make it your kind of own idea. No, it's going to be, it is written. It is written. I could put it is risen. Yeah, yeah, he risen from the dead. But the word of God risen from the dead. Yeah, but here's the thing, y'all. I'm just, look. Y'all got to wake up, spiritually wake up, y'all. This is, hey, 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 you, you, look, hey, spiritually, wake up. Come on, snap to your spiritual senses. This earth is going to pass away. How many dead bodies in a grave can't tell you that? How many things that you had and gone can't tell you that i mean you know uh you know how much anger i mean because i'm looking at disappointed it's like i'm looking at his faces you know a disappointment you know they I, i'm i'm it's like the world said you're headed to appointment chase after it chase after things of this world you're headed to appointment 
you had to appointment when you get this car when you get this house when you get this job when you get this person you know oh you're headed to appointment that things are wonderful things are gonna be joyful things are gonna be great and disappointed at the end there you go that's the serpent language yes you've been listening to the serpent language and the people on the television that's on the commercials and you know the people that are around you has been engaging in that serpent language and hearing that false information and you know uh what and, and you're not trying to look at the truth of the word of god of genesis 1 2 that you know already gave you the ingredients everything that is created from this earth will leave you will leave you without void i mean without form deform more likely a void that's emptiness that means nothing's there and darkness satan's territory to keep you manipulating and you know keep hurting other people and being negative towards other people and not just being a wicked and evil person that's how it works that's how satan does it but if you want to get out of this foolish ideal reality of you know this world system that's teaching you to chase after nothing that's why i see it chase after nothing you know and get in you know start chasing after something with substance of things that are hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen that is giving you a righteous lifestyle that you know you will have life and life more abundantly that's teaching you how to love one another you know and 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 and, and you really love them <laughs> not l lust and you're really just taking advantage of them and getting oh, everything what you want from them you know uh, look it's just saga you got to stop the saga. Come on. Come on. Wake wake up. Come on, y'all. Really. Has to stop. Come on. There's nothing there. You already went there so many times. You already said, you know, when you was doing, going right, and then screaming, the grass is greener on the other side. Girl, you already saw the brown, brown grass. I don't know who I was talking to right there. But I talked to some girl right there because I just spoke straight to you. I don't know why the spirit told me to do that. I said, girl, you already been, you already seen how brown is brown over there. You know that grass is dead. You know that grass is dead. They just dressing up that grass to look like it's green. And you know that grass is dead. Matter of fact, it's just a bunch of dirt on the other side. Yeah, you know, hey, you, man, come on, man. How many times you got to go that grass is green on the other side? Satan got to tell you when you're going after something that is going to make you a better person that you need to learn the love of God to learn to be faithful and disciplined on this, you know, change of becoming a better person. It's better for you to invest in this wife of living right life and life life and more abundantly through Jesus Christ than going back to whatever and the nonsense, huh? But how much many times you got to go on the other side to know that it's dead. It's dead that, that there's brown. There's not grass. The grass is dead and there, there's just dirt. You know what I'm saying? You know death is over there. Got to get things right right now. You know what I'm saying? Let's not join the parish and other people. Let's get things together now let's start now a starting process you know what i'm saying and that's what i'm just encouraging you to start now getting yourself together and establish a relationship with someone of you know spirit and truth that ain't gonna lie to you you know what i'm saying this world how many times people got a lot that, that's what really drives me nuts i mean i hear people listen to certain people no no people are prone liars prone certified liars and they will still listen to them. Wow. It's just amazing how y'all just, wow. Uh, I, I feel sorry. I feel sorry. That what prompts me to minister like I minister. That's what prompts me to do this. Prompt me to, you know, minister walking around, walking on the streets. God gave me these tools. I'm going to use it to the best of his ability. You know what I'm saying? To help others see the light. You know what I'm saying? And... I see y'all and I feel bad for y'all and I wish I can 
I wish I can really speak to you. I wish you can perceive me as a man of God that's really trying to reach out and give you the word of God and help you from your position. I wish that you, you know, do that. But guess what? There's no such thing as wishes, you know? There's such thing as blessings, such thing as wishes. But I pray that the Holy Spirit will light, give you that light that you need to see that this world is not going nowhere. This is a world of nowhere. It's without form, boy, darkness. This world is going nowhere. It's time to switch to the better team. It's going to help you become a better person. It's going to help you become stronger and wiser and more bolder, you know, and really truly fulfill your purpose made in the image and the likeness of God. It's time. It's, it's not a game. Life is not a game. Life is not nothing to play with, you know what I'm saying? And we just need to respect the rules and understand we got to do what it do. You know what I'm saying? We can't let this world system dictate, you know, you know, our reality like this and say that this is what's right. This is what we need. This is what we need. Liars. All right, that's the message. I hope you got the message and I hope, you know, you follow Jesus Christ and get out of this without form without boy without form boy darkness world that's not going absolute it's going absolutely nowhere you know it I and mean, i pray that you snap off your spiritual senses all right to god be the glory to him forever and ever in jesus name amen